the lands of Venus. The original beings of these lands also called Venusians, and unlike those of Mars, they survive all colonization. But how? It is still not known for sure how these beings were able to make fun of the brutal colonization they suffered long before the custodians took the known lands. According to some legends, within the giant race, the first humans thought to make contact with the original Venusians in order to form a block against the colonizers and thus learn from each other. This happened in the beginning, just before the custodians took the first humans by surprise and they ended up being colonized in the walled lands. There are theories that some of the early humans who started in the lands of Asgard, Lumaria, and Atlantis in conjunction with a portal connection to Hyperborea may have escaped before the first custodial attack and possibly settled in the lands of Venus. The Venusians are beings who base their technology purely and exclusively for spiritual development and benefit on their path of ascending or transcending internally. They did not possess weapons of destruction for attack and defense. This custodian saw as easily accessible. Once they penetrated their world environment, they thought that everything would be simple in those lands. The surprise came when the custodian set foot on the lands of Venus and a great storm hit this circle environment very suddenly. They did not take note of it at that time as they thought it was the weather there. But as the days passed, they saw that the storm never receded and they never could find a single Venusian on the surface. The storms never ceased until the last custodian did not cross the dome to the outside. The custodial technology, they began to notice that, well, with the custodial technology, they began to notice that the Venusians were underground in a bunker or in several bunkers of a technology hitherto unknown to them. And the storm raging up there on the surface was truly devastating. The trustees gathered to come to a decision soon. They were not going to stay there much more longer. In fact, many trustees started revolts and did not see the point in dying up there. Things got pretty complicated for the leaders. Many saw it as a failure and others started returning at another time. But true to their history, they did not give in and many custodians died on Venus. Even a very important leader is said to have fallen in those distant lands. The conquest of Venus for the custodians was a failure. In fact, they did not fight against the Venusians, who did not possess weapons. If they had them, I think it would have been a crushing defeat for them. When the story was known in the other circle environments, they tried to imitate it, but with disastrous results. Later, we will comment on that point. The technology that the Venusians had been developing was not overnight. It was years and years of progress, and those bunkers had everything. High-level subway connections. The custodians tried to block and even destroy the area with explosives and missiles, but for each attempt, many custodians died because the area near the bunker were also full of explosives and other technology that hindered even the approach. A custodial leader already at the end of this failed invasion met with a Venusian leader as it was feared that the custodians might try to blow up the entire circle in retaliation. No one really knows 
what was discussed or what happened that day. But the custodians left the Venus lands in the worst way with heavy casualties and defeat to their credit. We know because the Venusians themselves told us that in this meeting, besides pleading for peace in their lands, they would have asked for the liberation of the humans, which was totally rejected. <laughs>